Hey everyone, I'm Catherine with Free Tours by Foot, coming to you today from John F. Kennedy International Airport, better known as JFK. In this video, I'm going to take you through some of the different transportation options to get you from JFK to Manhattan for the purposes of this video uh, to get you to the Times Square area of Manhattan. We're hoping to help you pick the very best transportation option for your trip. Before we get started, let me just situate us a little bit. JFK Airport is about 15 miles or 23 kilometers from Manhattan. It's one of the three major airports that serve this area. The others are LaGuardia and Newark, and we'll talk about transportation options for both of those in separate videos. Of the three, JFK is the busiest. It also serves the majority of the international routes in and out of New York. There are multiple ways to get from JFK to Manhattan, including the subway, the Long Island Railroad, taxis and shared airport shuttles and we'll go through all of those some of the logistics and the pros and cons of each so let's get started one of your transportation options is to take the new york city subway in order to do that you'll actually first head to the air train which you can do from any terminal you arrive at in jfk when taking the subway, you have to decide which subway line to take. The air train will take you to either the A train at Howard Beach Station or the E train at Jamaica Station. Both go to Midtown Manhattan, but they take you very different routes. So the line you choose will depend on your final destination. Now, before you can get on the subway, you're actually going to have to stop at the ticketing machine and then you're going to need to get a Metro card. You're going to have to pay for both your air train ride, which you just took, $7.75, and then go ahead and get your subway fare, which right now, as of June 2021, is $2.75 for a single ride. Now, if you are planning on using the subway a lot on your visit, you can go ahead and put other Metro card rides right there on that Metro card, if you're planning to do pay per ride. Now, if you're not sure what kind of Metro card fare you're going to use, how often you're going to use the subway, or what kind of card to get, you should actually check out our video on how to pick the best Metro card option for you. Once you have your Metro card, you will need to insert it to leave the air train system and then follow the signs to the New York City subway platform towards Manhattan. Both the A and E trains connect with several other subway lines, so you may need to make a connection before arriving at your final destination. Now, pros and cons of this option. Pros, this is absolutely the cheapest way to get from JFK to Manhattan. Um, it takes about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to get to Midtown, so it's not always the fastest option, though sometimes during rush hour it is faster than taking a subway or some of the other options available. Now, cons of this, if you are somebody that is traveling with a lot of luggage, that might be difficult. There are stairs, escalators, things to navigate as you're trying to get around. Not every station has an elevator or an escalator. So if you are somebody traveling with a lot of luggage, this may not be the best option for you. But it can be a fantastic choice if you're looking to save money or if you're traveling during rush hour for speed. Another transportation option from JFK involves taking the air train again, just like the subway, but then transferring to the Long Island Railroad. You'll take a Jamaica station bound air train and that will link you to the Long Island Railroad. From there, you can take a Long Island Railroad train directly from Jamaica station to Penn Station, so also putting you right in Midtown Manhattan. Now, taking the Long Island Railroad plus the air train, you still have to pay for the air train ride itself, which is $7.75, and you're going to have to have a Long Island Railroad ticket. Depending on what time of day you go, um, you'll be considered either peak travel time or off-peak travel time. Either way, you can expect for that to run you somewhere from $12 to $15 for that train ticket. So it is more than the subway, but this is quite a bit faster than taking the subway and going through all of those different stops to go to Midtown Manhattan. One important caveat. The Long Island Railroad will really only save you time if your final destination is within walking distance to New York Penn Station at 33rd Street and 7th Avenue. Otherwise, you will either need to transfer to the New York City subway or take a taxi to your final destination. So I like to think of this as kind of splitting the difference between taking the subway and taking a taxi. It is going to be certainly more expensive than the subway, but quite a bit cheaper than taking a taxi. It maybe isn't 
quite as quick because it's not door to door the way a taxi is, but it is faster than taking the subway. Um, so it can be a really good option, but very, very similar to the subway. If you are somebody traveling with a lot of luggage, this may not be the easiest option for you. Same deal as the subway, there are going to be possibly some stairs, escalators, maybe not elevators available everywhere. And so you do want to keep that in mind when you're considering this, but it can be a great, slightly faster option and certainly cheaper than a taxi. So you can take a taxi from JFK right into Manhattan. And to do that, it's very, very simple. You go from the baggage claim area, and then you just follow the signs that say taxi. In this case, they are actually right on the floor. You can just keep following the floor decals. And so in some cases, right now, for example, there is a taxi line inside rather than outside. Um, sometimes at some terminals, that taxi line might be outside. Either way, this is one of the only instances in New York where to get a taxi, you don't just go outside and stick your arm out. You actually do go to a taxi stand, in this case an indoor taxi stand, and you can catch your taxi from right here. The dispatcher will help you, they'll ask you where you're going, they'll hail the cab for you, the cab will pull up. So pros and cons of this. Pros, this is absolutely the simplest thing you can do. Um, in order to do this, all you do is put your bags in, you tell the driver where you're going and you're going to get there. If you have been on a long haul flight, if you're exhausted, if you really don't want to think through doing subways and transfers and air trains, you can just get in and relax and let the driver do the work. The cons, this is by far the most expensive option. It is a flat rate to get from JFK into Manhattan. It's a $52 flat rate. There's also a surcharge if it is considered a peak time. Any bridge tolls will be your responsibility as the passenger as well, as well as tipping the driver, which you really should. Either way, you are not walking away from the taxi from JFK to Manhattan for anything less than $60 minimum. So it is definitely a pricier option. But again, if you are exhausted and you just want simplicity and cost is not as important, it can be a great one. One of your other transportation options is to use a shared van or shuttle service. Um, this is exactly what it sounds like. You would pay a per person rate. It's usually 18 to $20. And you would sit in a waiting area just like this one at the Welcome Center here at JFK Airport. And you would wait here until your shared ride arrives. So the way this works is that they would pick up people here at the airport and then they would drop them all at various destinations all over New York. So timing wise, you can be the first person dropped off or you can be the last person dropped off. So this can be a very long experience. Um, you can wait here at the airport for a little while because they will wait until they have a full van. And then of course, depending on whether you are the first or last person dropped off, it can be a bit of a long ride as well. But it is cheaper than a taxi. And if you are a solo traveler or a couple who has an enormous amount of luggage, maybe too much for the public transportation options, you don't want to spend the money on a taxi, this can be a good option. Really, once you get to three or more people because of the cost per person, a taxi probably makes more sense and certainly wouldn't involve nearly as much time as the airport shuttle. So whether your priority is cost, speed, convenience, how much luggage you have, there is an option for you from JFK to Manhattan. For more details on all of the options that we've covered, you should check out our blog post on the subject. There's a link included in the video notes. We hope this has helped and that you enjoy your visit to New York City.